This is Dave at AFX Search Investigations in Palm Beach, Florida. In a divorce case, there's a lot of uh, factors at stake. You have uh, alimony or spousal maintenance. Uh, you may have child support issues. You have custody, visitation, um, probably even a settlement agreement uh, to deal with uh, all of those factors. Um, one item that's very frequently overlooked is that of um, hidden assets. And um, this can be in large multi-million dollar divorce cases and even smaller cases, there's um, very frequently uh, incidents of hidden assets. So let's take a look at five types of potential hidden assets in a divorce case and uh, how those can be discovered through an investigation. Um, the five most common types are uh, hidden bank accounts, um, artificially reduced income, uh, fraudulent conveyances, um, false expenses, and even diverted revenue. Um, I'm going to talk about a few of the methods to discover these uh, types of asset fraud, but not all of them. Um, first of all, a lot of them are uh, too complicated to get into here, and some of them are covert methods that an investigator might use. Um, in the case of a hidden bank account, that's usually the easiest to discover, or I should say simplest. Um, you know, We have private sector bank account search options available to us. You can search by social security number, name, um, even addresses. Um, the parties in a divorce case a lot of times in advance of a divorce may start putting money in hidden bank accounts or bank accounts which aren't shared with the other spouse and that's um, one of the easiest to uh, discover and for that reason that's one of the ones that um, may not be used in every case when it gets more complicated one of the subtle schemes is artificially reducing income uh, where a person if they have a fl uh, variable income either through a um, commission type job uh, or bonuses will um, do take action to make that income come at a later date or to show up in another area and we can review payroll records deductions uh, and in many cases do covert interviews with vendors and clients uh, to see if the activity for that subject is the same for example are they buying the same amount of supplies for their business or is their employer having the same amount of sales but their income is lower um, the third type of asset uh, concealment is fraudulent conveyance where um, an asset is uh, or money is put in the name of another party to keep it out of the financial statement for the divorce. And that's discovered by looking for evidence of the activity for that asset. Um, in many cases, it's looking for small activities which lead to big. For example, a small expenditure for purchase of a part or repair of an item might only show up as a 20 or $30 charge on a credit card or on a bank account, but if it leads to a, a luxury uh, vessel, um, a high-end automobile, or even jewelry. We found uh, one guy had a $50,000 Rolex watch that was discovered because he spent $15 having it cleaned at a jewelry store, and we found that $15 receipt and tracked it down to the watch. Another area is false expenses. False expenses are when um, an expense shows up as something that's a legitimate payment, but it's really an asset transfer hidden as an expense. So we're going to look at all of the um, expenses to make sure they're legitimate assets and they're also recurring. If an asset is a prepaid um, expense that you know pays five or ten years worth of something in the future, then that's something that uh, really is a, um, an asset for the divorce case. Um, Diverted revenue. Uh, this is something becoming more common. We see it in more cases where if a uh, party to a lawsuit or divorce um, has a payment coming to them, they'll either not cash the check initially so that asset doesn't show up. Uh, they won't send out invoice uh, invoices to um, potential clients so their payments won't come in. Um, they'll have income or payments made to third parties. If they have a check coming to them, they'll have that check sent to a friend, a relative, or even um, a shell corporation. Um, in those cases, what we'll do is we'll look at where those accounts receivables really are and either show the accounts receivable as an asset or have the attorney that you're working with um, claim it as a constructive trust, that really that money is in trust for um, that party somewhere else. Many other uh, methods um, to de design to locate these assets, we use advanced schemes to find, or we use advanced methods to find these schemes um, that f in many cases we use these methods to find heavy duty 
um, asset concealment used in narcotics trafficking. So if um, a person who does this once or twice in their life to hide assets in a divorce really won't stand a chance in keeping these assets hidden from a professional investigation um, from an expert at asset recovery. Don't be surprised when even a $10,000 divorce has hidden assets. This is not something exclusively for multi-million dollar divorces. Um, we've even found hidden assets in a five or $10,000 um, shared uh, asset case. Um, discovering assets will get you your fair share. It also demonstrates bad faith on the part of the opposing party, which may come in handy for some other parts in the uh, negotiation of that divorce. Um, we can even audit your client's assets to see how they would appear to the opposing side, which may come in handy if um, if that's something that's part of the divorce. Uh, and as in any divorce case, we also keep an eye out for improper investigations on the other side. It may be that the opposing party is doing investigations and that investigator may be using illegal or improper techniques beyond the scope of what's allowed in a divorce case. So uh, in a divorce, if, you're, if there's any question of hidden assets or even if there's not, have an investigator take a look at the case to see what's being done by the other party to hide assets or to deprive you or your client from an appropriate settlement in the case. Again, our website, afxsearch.com. You can also check out our blog at activeintel.com. has a great number of articles and videos about uh, hiding assets, recovering assets, and surveillance in divorce cases.